Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Alright people. Here's the deal. I got this all hooked up. I got my servo in there for my bomb dropping device. And uh, got my compressor hooked up. Let's pump some air in it. Get about a, let's get about 120 in there. See if we can't make her work. Alright. Okay, you guys seen it here first. The B1 bomber is going to come to life. I'm here live on YouTube. You ready? I just got one of these small air valves and them restrictor things. Yeah, it might be restricted a little bit too much. Hey, it's moving. It's alive. Whoa! <laughs> okay, now the bomb, Bob's bomb dropping device. Don't take the turn the wrong way. There we go. And when they hit that, them wheels, bam, they'll push right off there and fall off. That's the plan anyway. Uh, see, that one works right along with it. Oh, we got the, all the bugs worked out of it yet. Not bad for a first try though, it's working. Huh? At least it's working. Okay, we dropped our payload. Now let's shut the bomb base. Swing the wings back. And get out of Dodge. Yeah, they need a hydraulic system, don't they, people? They would work. See, once the... Because even though these ones are farther back, once the hydraulic fluid is full, as soon as it starts moving here, it moves here. So they'll all open more consistently. And uh, I think it'll work better. What do y'all think on the hydraulics? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Ah, let's try it. I want to show y'all what I got going. All right. Get my chair out the way. Ah, it's a mess in here. All right. Kinda got, kinda got me a little board started here. See now I got my spring on this air cylinder, okay, and I want it to fill up with fluid on this side of the pump, so the, it'll push the plunger that way, okay. Then when this washer, I got me a plastic washer right there in front of that steel one. Can you hear that? Let me make sure I'm getting this in focus. We're in the frame. Oh, there we are. See that? When this cylinder fills with fluid and hits that, that pump will shut off, okay? So when I let go of the gear, when I switch the valve on the gear, it does that, okay? Then the pump turns on. And then it's working rah, until the gear are locked then bam it'll fill up with again same way or on the gear door as soon as I flip the switch or the valve it'll release fluid into the system and rah, the pump will turn on then once the system's all the way extended rah, it'll fill the cylinder back up and that'll shut the motor off okay but what I'm going to need now I gotta do some more digging. I gotta find a check valve. Okay, because I have to have a check valve in between my pump and this air cylinder. I also gotta tee it off before it gets there. Because see, my pump arrow is pumping that way, but I gotta have a tee that's gonna go to my valve here. Okay, that tee will go right there, or the other end of it. And both of these will go to tanks so it can suck fluid from the same way. 
You see where I'm getting at here, people? Now, if I put me a check valve, because you see, this pump might bleed some off back when it's not running. So we gotta have a check valve. Okay, now some came with these systems. This system has a check valve, but I don't want to use too much out of these boxes because I got other hydraulic systems I want to use. See, they got some big fancy check valves, you know. I think one of these things might work. It'd probably work just fine. That's what that is, is a check valve. And uh, I think I got some others. I know I got some check valves. I'm gonna dig in the box of junk. I got everything in this thing, man. More springs. Some are awful tough. Now you see. If the spring ain't tough enough, I'll, I might have to put another spring on it to make, but see, like on my gear doors, I wouldn't need much. You know, because that's going to be the, the tension on that spring. The more tension is on it, the more pressure will be in the system. And I don't want to start off with one of these big old heavy springs and uh, put way too much pressure in the system than we need. You know what I mean? Then it's liable to do damage and aha. See, I told you. Digging the box of junk right there. I know I had to. I got some of these metal ones. Here's another one. Yeah, that's a good one there. And these are actually for these came out of them uh them smoke kits, so that's actually the fluid too. My question is, will that blow off of there? But I could put a wire time on, I guess. I just don't know if these will let a lot of fluid through. Well, they should. They're all the same thing. Don't you think? But that's all I got on there is barbs. On the fuel pump itself, that's all I got on there is and some barbs. So let's try this. I only use these valves, these check valves here, is this because it's smaller. I'm going to try this one. I'll put my line on there, then I'll wrap it with wire. Then I can come off this and go with a T. That will go to this and to there. What do you think, people? Think it's going to work? How many yays and how many nays? <laughs> oh, come on. You know we could scrounge something like this together in the shop. The only question is, is, is that spring going to be enough tension? Because this is my turnoff. Well, if it won't, it just... Man, I bet you'd be surprised what kind of pressure that right there, that little bit right there will put in the line. You know? And then Bombay, especially them Bombay doors, won't need a lot. See this one right here? These systems here? I forgot to keep my time on. I have to keep my eye on these people. These systems, it's electric. See, you plug this into a separate system so it don't run off your flight pack. But it's got a little dial. This works off of like amps. When your system, when your motor bogs down, when it's moved all the way one way, your motor bogs down, and then this shuts it off. Okay. This is pretty much the same thing except when I'm using a switch. This a uh, fuel pump runs on a 4.8 uh, battery cell, so I just got to solder one wire up there just to break the connection for that switch. And then I'm going to put a servo right here, right here that works my valve. See, what do you guys think? Think that'll work? Well, we'll find out. Where are we going to find out? Right here on Bob TV in Bobo Vision Land. That's right. It's the only place you can get Philo Vision drama free. Same Bob time, same 